Oh, well, what's this over here? What's this building about? I'm May. How big is your university? What's the name of this class again? Oh! oh. <laughs> She's moving! This mold molding here is made by real teas or chalk. You're not worried about what you're actually eating? This is the day in the life of a student at West China School of Stomatology in Sutra University. I'm May from Italy. I've been living in Chengdu for two years and health, working here as a project manager. Last time only took us on a journey to check out Sichuan University campus. Today I'm taking you to a very special journey to see one of the most famous branches of Sichuan University, which is Huaxi University. You know, Huaxi is very famous over here. It's just like a symbol of Chengdu, just like pandas and hot pot. Right now, we are going to meet a very special person. Let's go! Okay, so what we're doing now? Let's get to the class, shall we? Right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. How big is your university, Xiaofeng? How many campuses do you have here? We have three campuses, and this campus named West China Campus. The host train university holds an area about 7,050 acres, and West China Campus just holds one seventh of the whole university. Most of the Italian university campuses, you only have beautiful buildings, of course. It's like a museum, but the West China campus is like a park. Yeah, actually, I was going to say that. It really looks like a big park. park. How long does it take to become a doctor? To become a doctor? Yes. Actually, most of the students in China, especially for the medical students, we have to spend five years to get the bachelor degree. And for Five some years. students, they will spend eight, eight years to get the doctor degree. But for most of the medical students, they have to spend 11 years to get the doctor degree. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna take a lifetime, actually. Yes. For most of Italian universities, they usually have bachelor degree and master degree separated from each other. Three years of bachelor degree and two years of master degree is a little bit hard for us. But for whoever studies medicine needs to study six years all together. The rate of enrollment in this kind of university is only 30% each year. Really hard. A lot of information. <laughs> you know that it is also hard in China. You know, my college only picked four students in my province. So I am a good student too. <laughs> So 30% maybe is a good percentage. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mate. <laughs> let's go to the classroom. Already? <laughs> Damn it. Let's go. go. Let's go. Hey, wait for me. Come on. This morning, we will attend a class named Oral Science Best on Evidence. <laughs> it sounds so difficult. Okay, I'm gonna have a try. Come on, let's go. So we just sit here and wait for the teacher and the other students to come attend this yeah. class. What's the name of this class again? All the signs based on evidence. I can see that everybody is actually very, very diligent. Looks like everybody's listening to the teacher. Looks like nobody's actually skipping this class. The class is very full. I actually noticed that women are slightly more than men in this kind of class. Xiaofeng looks very interested in this class. <laughs> 
Let's keep listening to the teacher. Let's see how it goes on. Let's go. Class is over. So this class was about 45 minutes, but there were two classes linked together. So it's about half an hour together. It was a difficult class. <laughs> Nobody skips class here, right? Um, the answer is no, because I believe that some students will have more important things to do. Oh, right. Compared with the class, but actually, for our medical students, it is very important and to go to the class because our task is difficult. Of course, of course. It so is. Uh, mostly, every student will come to attend the classes. I see. Look, look like a really good kind of education. It must be expensive to attend this, to have access to this kind of education, isn't it? Maybe it is expensive in Italy, but in China, it only costs six thousand yuan per year for a university student. But I have scholarships, so it just covers the fees. That's <laughs> because if you are a good student, so you have an easier life. Yeah, that's the point. Xiaofeng only has this class this morning, so he decided to show me around his campus. What's this building about? This is the old building of School of Dentistry, actually. You know that at 1907, Dr. Ling Sei came to Chengdu with his wife and opened the first dental school of China at 1907. Oh. So this is the first modern dentistry school of China, West China School of Stomatology. Big things I have to mention about that is actually as West China School of Stomatology is the first dental school in China, so many famous universities of stomatology school, uh, its founder have graduated from the West China School of Stomatology like Peking University, Wuhan University, and so many famous universities. Xiaofeng told me 110 years ago, a doctor named Lin Zhe came to Chengdu. He was the first missionary dentist in Canada, and also the first missionary dentist in China. He is known as the father of modern Chinese dentistry. West China Stomatology College, as well as Chengdu, is known as the birthplace of modern Chinese stomatology. Xiaofeng told me this campus was an independent university back then with China Union University. In the year 2000, the former West China Medical University was combined with the former Sichuan University, and the new Sichuan University came out. Here in China, the doctor Lin Seng, as it concerns the whole skull and the neck, besides the oral cavity. It's so quiet around here. Yes, West China campus is always quiet because everybody is ready. <laughs> Makes sense. Wow, what's this over here? Clock Tower. This is the symbol of West China campus as well as the symbol of the history. Because every graduate will take photo before the clock tower when they are graduated from the university. It has been repaired many times during the past 100 years. Oh. Yeah. Can I take a picture of this too? Of course! Oh my God. <laughs> 3, 2, 1 Xiaofeng told me that the clock tower was built in 1926. It is not only a landmark of the Havi complex, but also a landmark of Chengdu. Adopting the concept of combining Chinese and Western styles, it gives a sense of harmony and unity of Chinese and Western beauty. It is the product of the fusion of Chinese and Western cultures in specific situations. This is our medical library, but I really go to the library to study. <laughs> I, I kind of can see that. Because <laughs> I usually go to the park or in my dormitory to study. Oh, because you think it's more comfortable there, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, it's very hot today. Uh -huh. Do we have air conditioning inside? Of course we have. That's perfect. <laughs> we are medical students, so it is important for us to read some medical materials. This library is famous for abundant amount of or science materials. In Italy, actually, we live in the libraries. Most of the students pass at least two-thirds of their day in the library. There are a lot of seats. You can just have self-studying here. 
second and third floor it's for books and magazines you can just pick up what you want right now we need to be very quiet people are working over here So if you need to borrow this book, you just need to put it here. The machine scans the code, student's this card, is over code. here. Is that heavy, Xiaofeng? Yes. <laughs> Knowledge is always heavy. Knowledge is always right. heavy. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go. This is actually my very first time hearing about the history of Huaxi University. And it's so very interesting. What I'm really curious now is how do you train for your work? <laughs> Let's go to the training laboratory. Oh, come on. Okay, take me to the training laboratory. Which way? That way? Yeah. Let's go. It looks like a hospital. <laughs> it really looks like. Uh, we have three levels of training. At first, pri the primary level, we have to do some training in the head-like model, uh, like this. You can get into this classroom. This is our dentist training, a laboratory. This is our classroom. So this is a classroom. Yeah, we have forty head-like models like this. Oh, just like a real person. Hello. <laughs> So we will use this model to do the basic training of dentistry. This mold molding here is made by real teeth or chalk? Yes, this is real teeth. Wow, is that possible to take it out? Just like this. Oh. <laughs> and put. I'm a little bit afraid to ask you, but <laughs> where did you get those real teeth? Sometimes when you go to look at uh, the orthodontic dentist, you will have to extract some teeth, right? Oh, yes. So we will collect that teeth to do the experiments. And sometimes uh, some patients with tumor, they will cut the bone with the teeth so we can collect that teeth. Oh, mm -hmm. so those teeth are all from... The real patients. <sighs> Okay. Relax. Okay. <laughs> and when we do the experiment, just put the models into the head-like models. It's like a patient real mouse, right? Right. And turn on the machine. It's just like the dental. Just like a real <laughs> dentist. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling nervous condition. now. We dentistry students, we use the handpiece. Like this, and just press the pedal. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real physique. Like this. Uh, we, will we will do some models like this. Oh, what's this? Wax. This is wax? Yeah, this is the tooth model. Did you carve it by yourself? Yes, because we have to learn uh, the shape of the real teeth because sometimes we have to fit in the, the, the caries cavity. So we have to know the real shape of a real teeth. And this is another one. So this is the front, it's like the front tooth, right? Mm -hmm. This heart here. And this is like this the molar. molar. Oh, okay. Yeah. And this this is the model. Oh, too. this is a huge tooth. <laughs> yeah, we use this model to show how to do the class one cavity. Are you telling me that my molar looks like this? Almost. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the virtual reality room, training room. Look at the machine. Wow. Because we have to solve the problem of we don't have enough teeth. So we have to use the virtual reality There's to, no other way, right? Yeah. To in improve our hand stability and preciousness. You can have a try. And there are some moods of real teeth like this. A real patient. So you have also... Oh, this yeah, you is... Can, you can just build the data into the system. So you can have a virtual reality of a real patient. You will have the real pictures of each tooth. Come take a the look. The red part is dental caries. You have, your task is to remove all the caries. 
Let's wear the 3D glasses. Listen. <laughs> it's just like the real one. And your target is to remove all the red ones and do not touch the yellow ones. The red ones? Yeah. You mean like... Hold on, I lost my... Okay, here, this one. Mm -hmm. Well done. Like this? Wow. This is so very scary. I'm feeling actually really nervous. My hands actually hurt already a little bit. So I can't imagine having to do this for a very long time. This so being a dentist is hard work, right? It is. And I also have a lot of pressure. Even if this is not a real tooth, I still can feel I'm touching a tooth. I'm going inside it. I'm carving it, actually. So I think this machine, this virtual reality machine, is actually worth being the second level of difficulties about the dentist training. Actually, this machine was designed by Acta and America Virtual Reality Company. And this is the largest MOOC center in China. This is the high level of dentistry experiment imagery. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be scared, they are rubbers, they're just the rubbers. Come on. Oh my goodness, what is this thing here? Do not be scared of it. Me? Be yeah. scared of what? Oh, oh my god! Don't be scared of it. Actually, her name is Sansa. She's moving! Yeah! This is a rivet from Japan. She's wearing clothes! Yes, don't be afraid. Come on, come on. She can talk. Oh my goodness, please don't do this to me. <laughs> oh my god. We use this rudder to improve the skills of communication with our patients. Hello. <laughs> Did you see that? Can she actually reply me? Everything I ask her? Actually, you have to use this. Let me just have a try. What's wrong with you today? You have a toothache. Where does it hurt and how much it hurts? I have a stabbing pain around my lower right side. This is actually to check how do you communicate with the, with the yes. patient. So if you say something wrong, if you make the patient nervous, if you make not feeling very comfortable. Like this. Like, <sighs> hey, don't will, hurt her. Yeah, yeah, it just gave me a, a real reaction when, when I press the, the chest. Oh. And if you, if your partner find that you have put your instrument too deep in the oral cavity, uh, it will have some movements yes. too. So this is the group work between you and your partner. You can just put the, the gloves and have the oral examination. And let's start. Oh, you really like a real dentist. Okay, so and mirror. Eye. So how should I look? Oh! <laughs> will you put your instruments too inside of the? Patient's she will heart? feel okay. Yeah. Sorry, my my oh, bad. Disgusting. She have her makeup. She has her makeup. <laughs> yeah, she has her makeup. So before we use this rubber to communicate, to, to practice, and after the practice, we will use her makeup. Like this. It's a real makeup brush. Can you see that? Oh, this is real makeup. So wh why do you have makeup here? What? Because you need to do her makeup all over again after you finish? Because she is a beautiful lady. Oh. But she can't make the makeup for herself. So we will do. <laughs> so it's after you visit the patient, you do her makeup too? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes, especially in winter, uh, the weather is so dry. So there may be some uncomfortable when you open your mouth too wider, too widely. Too long. Oh. Yeah, so we will use the some Lip balm? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, to protect the mouth of our patients. So you put them lip balm before you start visiting and them after. and after. 
this is a really good training. The only way possible you can train your communication skills with the patient. We have to think that many people are afraid of seeing the dentist, including me, actually. So I will feel really better if I had a doctor who has the, some very good communication ability. It's really about how to deal with people in general. And I don't think I've ever seen this kind of education anywhere else before. Goodbye, Goodbye Simpson. Simpson. Goodbye. Goodbye. Come on. As we have come to the West China Canada, let's go to West China Canteen. Have a look. Let's go. I'm feeling hungry, actually. I say, do professor usually eat in this cafeteria Sometimes, too? But actually, for most of the professors, they have to work in the hospital. So they do have, they have no time. No to time eat. to come here, yeah. right? Okay. <laughs> Look at the price. It is not that expensive, right? It's not not that expensive. It's absolutely cheap. cheap. You're not worried about what you're actually eating? <laughs> Don't worry about that. Because the government to support the development of our university. So they will give money to the canteen. Oh, so you're actually eating real food. Okay, that's a of nice. Course. That's nice. Maybe three yuan is enough for uh, the cheapest a meal and you can spend more than 20 yuan to get a meal so but on average you can spend about 10 yuan for a meal 10 yuan which for italy is a little bit more than one euro and half for a full meal that's actually really amazing there are no price differences so what we do in italy actually is prepare our food from home or go outside in some cafeterias or bars and order a sandwich. We have noodles and this afternoon I want to eat it. noodles. Oh, okay. Me. Let's go get some noodles. Let's go. It looks delicious. In the afternoon, Xiaofeng needs to go to the hospital and see some patients. So he needs to have some rest for at least one hour. So, we will quickly make a takeaway from the school's cafeteria. This is actually my first time being in a male dormitory, especially in a male dormitory room. So I'm a little bit excited about it. I won't lie on that. Looks pretty good. It can give a good environment to the, to the students who are studying here. I'm just gonna let him have some rest in a while. Okay, see you guys. What kind of experience is it to have your teeth treated in China's top dentistry hospital? How many years does it take to become a doctor in China? Do college students really only know how to study? Just follow me and let's find it out together!